In this video, we're gonna go over how to make AI QR codes with the new QR control net like this. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. So now let's dive in. To get started, we're gonna to need to create a QR code. I have a link for this website down below, but really any QR code website will do. The most important thing is obviously put in your website URL for what you're trying to do. Having it shorten it will help because the less information is within the URL, the more higher success rate you will have if you bring down the amount of QR code that's in the image. And then you wanna make sure that your error correction level is at high. And once you have that, you can go ahead and click generate QR code. And then you can go ahead and download and save this to your computer. So now we have our QR code. Then you're gonna go into either your automatic 1111 or Vlad, you're gonna to go to extensions. And then you're gonna put in this URL, the URL for this, the one that's also on the screen is going to be also in the description and you're gonna click install. And if you already have it, just make sure that you run updates and you load, or rather, let's see, if you go to installed here and you check for updates and update it. The reason this is important is because sometimes when I tried to do this with text to image, Control Net wouldn't work for me, and I don't know why. So make sure that it's fully updated for you. To get these Control Nets, they will also be linked in the description below with the Hugging Face and Civit AI link. And so this awesome dude made some QR codes or created a Control Net, and he has one for 1.5 and 2.1. He said he it's based off of 150 that he made, and while for him, 2.1 is more effective, 1.5 works great. I have tried both, both work. And then make sure when you go to the files here, you're gonna to wanna to download the safe tensors as well as that YAML. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to models, go to control net and drag and drop them in with the rest of your control net, the YAMLs and the path files. We're gonna start with text to image and we will get into image to image depending on what you're trying to do. The other option might be better for you. For this example, I am using a custom model. It was based off of realistic 1.3, but I've also tried this on a 2.1 model as well. Any model should work, but you might have varying results depending on that model, as well as that prompt. Not everything is going to work. So we have my prompt and my negative prompt. We have our sampling method here. I use 2MCARUS. I find that works pretty well, though other ones can also work. We changed our width and height to 768 by 768. You can change this to 512 by 512 and it will still work, but maybe not as well. With 768 by 768, I do find that I get more like double heads and like multiple things more often. So be on the lookout for that. And then I have the CFG scale of 11. So once you have those things, then we're gonna go into our control net. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a QR code here. You notice that it has the white border here. So that white border is how we get that to expand out outside of the QR code when we're making it. If you don't want that, then use a QR code without a white border. We're gonna to go to enable and we're gonna to go to model and you're gonna click on 1.5 because that's the kind of model that I'm using. If you're using a 2.1 model, you wanna use this one. If you use a control that model that is not applied to the checkpoint that you're using, then it's gonna give you an error that says like mat one and mat two, like don't match or something like that. So that's because you're using the wrong control net. So be aware of that. The other important thing here is we have a preprocessor. Normally, like if you want it how it is right now, it's gonna give you white QR code. But if you don't want that, you can invert that to get a black one. Now I find this important because I find that black tends to work better than white. And then you can really jump between if you wanna make this 512 or 768, both work. After that, you're gonna be ready to go. So let's do a run and make sure that I, f I find if you do it a batch count of 10, you're gonna do a better shot at this, okay? And when I did these runs before, 
I found that 1.6 worked well with a person. It's going to change depending on what you're trying to do. And even the prompt might make a difference. So let's do a run and see what we get. So we have our batch of 10 here. How I like to test these is to grab, click on this one, and then I'm gonna bring up my phone here. Oh yeah, see that one's great. So this one's working. So if I know if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know this one is working. Okay, it's gonna come off on there and I know that that's, that's working, awesome. Okay, so that's how you can make one and you can, and within that example, I only had that one, that's the only one that worked, was number seven, okay? Now, on the screen you see right now a different one that I did and you can actually go in and edit it a little bit if you want uh, to clear off some things that you might not want and it will still work. So that's something else to be aware of. Now, what's else, you know, what else you're gonna see on the screen right now is some other examples and those settings of what I did in text to image. So you get an idea of how all of that works. So now let's dive into image to image and see the similar process. Before we dive into image to image, we, we need to make an image that we like in text to image. So I'm gonna kill the QR code here. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I'm just gonna run a batch of 10 and choose the one that I like most. So we finished our batch of 10 and I think this one will work fine. So I'm gonna do send to image to image and we have our prompts that came over. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use Kara, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this to 11, put this to one. You can bring this down. I've had success at 0.79 and that has worked pretty well. So go ahead and play with that. And then we're gonna to go to our control net once more, I'm gonna put in a different QR code, one that has a different look to it, that doesn't have the, the white border. And we're not gonna use the preprocessor at all. We're gonna to go to use SD15. We're gonna put this to 1.7, though I have been successful on 1.4 as well. Really, it's gonna vary. We're gonna click on balanced and then crop and resize. We wanna, we wanna make sure that we enable that. And I believe that's all that we're going to need. We'll do another batch count of 10 here. So let's run a batch and see what we get. So now that we did a run, let's see if any of these work. I'm gonna kinda of zoom in on here. That one looks like it'll open. We got like a couple winners in this on 1.7. I have also been successful on 1.4, but it's really gonna come down to what works best for you. It's really gonna vary between what you're doing and the prompt and everything else. And of course on the screen, you're gonna see, for example, a suit picture that I did, one in text to image, one in image to image. And you can see which one, I prefer the image to image in this example, but I use the same prompt for both. So really gonna play with it, as well as here are some other ones that were successful and image to image with those settings. So just to give you an idea of what things will and won't work. So it's really gonna come down to how you play with it. And that's about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you learned something. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. So you get updated on new stuff like this. I'm really trying to focus on with the more niche things of AI and not so much uh, broad things. So anywho, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.